<laughs> hey, welcome back to the channel for the very first episode of Growing with the Grovers. You might be a little bit confused because I did just do like a five part series on this family. So before we dive any deeper, let me pause so I can collect my thoughts. Is she seriously smelling the freaking tomatoes right now? So that I can explain to you uh, what it is that we're, we're trying to do here. So in the Sims 4 Growing Together Early Access video, I did use this family. I had a lot of fun with them. I really, really, really grew like super duper attached to this little guy here, Jacob, and I really fell in love with the Grovers and their backstory, even though this family doesn't have like a set, I guess, trajectory in terms of what their life is going to look like. It's more of kind of a loose LP where we have a backstory and we kind of just see where it takes us, hence growing with the Grovers. However, there were things that had happened in the early access videos that I still wanted to be a part of the Grover story present day. We're not going to recreate those things, but but just know that they did happen and they exist somehow, some way. So for instance, here we have the tree house that we worked on with our dad. We have all of the upgrades that we had accomplished in the early access videos. I do have a couple things out here in the garden. I made a few minor tweaks to the house, but nothing major just because our budget is so limited. I did remove the end tables on either side of the diaper changing table and just put in this little diaper pail instead. For the kitchen, I decided to put in this, I think this is the Discover University desk instead of the desk we had here previously because I will be using various expansions and kits and things or photos that we took in the early access videos. I had to recreate them or at least retake them because obviously they didn't transfer over. And in terms of skills and whatnot, we're kind of starting for, from scratch again just because I wasn't able to actually um, have those transfer over either. So that's a little annoying. Now, if you don't know the backstory of Ayla Grover, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. So Ayla is a single parent mom. This is her son, Jacob. She's super duper family oriented. She would love to have another child. In fact, it's actually one of her whims, even though this is a new version of Ayla, hypothetically speaking, save wise, she still has that instinct to, you know, have a bigger family. And hopefully that happens for her. Her situation with her baby daddy, Eric Payne's a little complicated. They are still very much in love with each other. But unfortunately, the dude's a criminal. And there is more to that story for sure, but I'm not going to dive into it too deep. If you want to watch the first episode of the early access video on the Grovers, I will tell you all about it. But basically, Ayla had to make a decision whether or not she was going to support Eric's life choices or basically protect Jacob at all costs. And clearly, she chose Jacob. Well, that forced her to live with her dad or move in with her dad, Perry, which was great because he's honestly the biggest help and the best grandfather ever. However, Ayla was really craving her independence, so she worked as hard as she could as a little barista at the, I think it's the Frothy Foamer, I believe, so she could earn just enough money to get herself a little place. Kyle Kyleson thinks Ayla Grover is swell and wants to become best friends. If you would have asked me on episode two of the early access videos, I probably would have laughed in your face, but honestly, Kyle, he's kind of a catch. Now, I I do not see any romantic like attraction between the two of them at least right now but let's just say okay we're gonna rewrite history a little bit let's just say maybe at the end of Kyle's stay Ayla realized that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover which is funny because she loves to read so ha 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 that was really funny but no seriously he actually turned his ish around I don't know what it was maybe something uh, about Ayla being very determined and raising a baby on her own made Kyle realize like he has more potential than just being a couch surfer. I don't know what type of heart to heart coming to Jesus type of conversation they had, but for some reason their relationship completely and utterly turned around and now they're their best friends. Also, by the way, I did give Kyle a little bit of a makeover. If you want to see that, there's a video up on that too. But anyways, I don't know what else to tell you. Right now, Ayla is super duper tired. Wait, what? Our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Can can I move in with you? Oh my god. So wait, Kyle actually wants to move in with us. I mean, as roomies? 
okay, I don't know what to do about this. I'm actually kind of like conflicted. A part of me doesn't think it's a good idea, but a part of me really could use the financial help. Don't get it twisted. I love my dad and all, but if this prevents us from moving back with him and I get a little help with Jacob, I mean, sure, I guess it could only strengthen our friendship. <laughs> Ayla might be just making the biggest damn mistake of her life, but I think we're willing to take a risk. So apparently, okay, Kyle brought in 20,000 simoleons. That is not happening. The dude's a couch surfer. So as much as I would love to say he probably was hiding all of this in the couch cushion, it really didn't happen like that. I think we're going to make it more realistic and we're going to maybe bring in, let's just say 150 total. So he brought like 600 bucks with us, all the money that he's been essentially saving. Oh my God, now we live with Kyle. And again, like nothing romantic is happening. I just think he just needs a place to stay permanently. And <laughs> Ayla needs someone to help out with the bills. So it's kind of one of those situations where I scratch your back and you scratch mine. But yeah, we don't really have, like I said, any set plan for the story. We're just gonna roll with the punches and see what happens. I'm super duper excited to see where this LP goes. Already, it threw me for a freaking curve. Ball. I can't even believe we live with Kyle Callison. Like, <laughs> Deli, take that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm coming back for my man. <laughs> I'm just playing. But it seems like he hasn't really uh, left his party boy streak behind because he wants to have a drink at the bar venue. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Ayla's quickly taking advantage of Kyle's help. She has decided to go and take a little nap while he cares for Jacob. We're going to have him do um, maybe some tummy time with the little guy. Let's do that really quick. Kyle tried to get out of doing tummy time with Jacob to sneak off and play some video games, and I will say he got a couple minutes in because he acquired the video game skill and also discovered he quite likes video gaming. Jacob did make a little bit of progress with tummy time and he unlocked the lift head milestone. So Kyle's gonna go and take out the garbage. Also, we need to put Jacob to bed because he's getting super duper sleepy. I noticed Kyle doesn't really have a job. So if you have any career suggestions for the man, let me know in the comments down below. But I'm thinking I might have made a mistake. When I took away all those simoleons, I didn't take into account that we're gonna need a place for Kyle to sleep and stay because he is not sleeping in our bed. <laughs> so I might put a couple simoleons back and add in that basement that I was talking about a few moments ago because I could totally see Kyle being the skeleton in her closet, aka the dude in her basement. <laughs> Oh my god, this freaking LP is already off to a great start. What in the heck is going on? Jacob, go to sleep, Bubba. Seriously, he reminds me so much of my little baby. I'm not even joking. I swear. Oh my gosh, like the mannerisms and everything. Kyle, did you do it? <gasps> He's so impressed by himself right now. I could actually, I could actually see him making a great dad. I kind of want him to come into the bathroom and psych himself up a little bit. Like, heck yeah, I just put a baby to sleep like totally rad dude don't even know what i'm doing but i'm doing it type ish so we're gonna have him go and do that and then we're gonna throw away those uh diapers that we had grabbed out of the pail and then i think i am gonna play around with the basement but i'll do that in just a little second i don't want to like give the family too too much money because again the struggle is a part of the story and if i do like twenty thousand simoleons there's really no struggle to be had oh also another thing um i am playing well we're starting off in winter because i thought that would be kind of fun too and then i did my little like calendar hack thing so we have like a bunch of little holidays and fun things to look forward to to just to keep it interesting and what is going on over here okay so kyle is family oriented lazy gregorious and a bit of a bro and there he goes like he still has like his kyle his kyle mannerisms <laughs> He's like having a dance off. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. The shimmy hands in the living room. But I'm going to have him move over really quick so that we can um, maybe do that basement that I was talking about. I was going to try to build this with you guys in real time. But on second thought, I might actually need to speed build this because I'm struggling.
I don't know if you guys have tried building basements in San Sequoia, but I think something is going on, either that or I just don't know what the hell I'm doing because when I was trying to build, it kept telling me that the stairs were off the lot when they weren't off the lot. I don't know. Maybe it's just my fault and I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but here is Kyle's little basement dwelling. I love this for him. Of course, we had to throw in a little mini fridge because I feel like he would be in here grabbing. I don't know what the hell he would be grabbing, actually. There's really not a lot like, well, well maybe some quick meals maybe some blue milk what the hell's blue milk canned water cheese crackers cereal yeah that's definitely and hanging out and watching his tv like <laughs> This couldn't get any more Kyle if I wanted it to. I do need to assign the bed to him just so that he's the one that ends up sleeping here because I don't want Ayla to be the one sleeping. And speaking of which, she over freaking slept. She meant to be up hours ago because she got asked to fill in as a mixologist at the Salty Paws Saloon. That might be another thing that you don't know about Ayla. She actually used to be a mixologist on top of being a barista. It's kind of funny because her dad is a culinary chef. And so in a way but like inadvertently she's kind of following in his footsteps without following in his footsteps we're supposed to be there at nine and of course she wants to read a quick little book just to decompress a little bit it's fun for her it's raising her fun bar and I think that's all the time that we have so we probably have to head on over Kyle said that he has no problem watching the little one so hopefully okay he does a good job he's gonna go and eat um some of the uh, garden salad that Ella made a little bit earlier and she's saying goodbye to Jacob. Oh my goodness. See, she's always late. It's already like nine o'clock and uh, she was supposed to be there like mm, 10 minutes ago. Hey, Ayla, I was wondering when you would make it. <laughs> Sorry, Agnes. I was uh, I was busy with Jacob. <laughs> don't worry about it, girl. I got you covered. Anyway, here we are at the Salty Paws. Unfortunately, we don't like have a uniform. So I think that means Ayla is going to be moonlighting in her everyday wear. I guess I could have given her something, but I thought maybe they had an extra in the back. Let's see what outfit we can give her because I feel a little weird. Serving people food when I just look like one of the patrons. I think I'm going to put her in this outfit. It is a little barish. I still look like I'm just a customer. It's fine. Next time Agnes will have a uniform for me. But you know what? I forgot to tell you guys some things. What in the heck is happening over here? Did this dude just get in a fight with a hairless cat named Ruby? I think <laughs> I think he did. It's never a boring night here at the uh, Salty Paw Saloon. So we have 803 simoleons. I want to keep an eye on that. We're going to be here for a couple hours. Nothing too crazy. I didn't share with y'all um, our relationship panel. I, I thought I did for some reason. And Ayla wants to, ooh, she wants to sneak a little drinky drink. You know, I don't know if we're able to do that, actually. Let's try that again because uh, that was that was a little agitating. I don't know why lately actions have been resetting themselves. Like, it's been happening throughout my save. It's over here, we have a couple of our friends. Obviously, we have Kyle. We know him very well. Then there's Jonathan Mead. He is a barista at the Frothy Foamer. He is actually okay. Ayla's work crush. <laughs> I mean, who isn't attracted to Jonathan? And then we have Sheena. She also works at the Frothy Foamer. Ayla and Sheena aren't like besties or anything. Like, they're cool. They're friends. I, I There's really not much to say about her, honestly. It's, you know, Perry and Eric and all of them, so I don't need to like say anything else. Ayla is sucking tonight. She's like dropping all the freaking ice cubes. <laughs> she is making a mess. We've made six whole freaking simoleons oh my gosh but did we reach level two of the mixology skill no we didn't so I'm gonna have her work a little bit harder here because I'm not quite ready to call it quit it's two o'clock in the morning we finally reached level two of the mixology skill Paulo I think his name is Paulo right Paulo pa Paulo 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 can't even say his name P is pissed because Ayla sucks and has drove away so many customers because she doesn't know what she's doing I don't think they're gonna ask me to moonlight like ever freaking again he's so bad i'm gonna drink whatever this is oh it's a sweet and spicy why does the cup look different the cup looks really different did they recently change the glasses they might have actually so Ayla really wants to read something and of course she wanted to have a drink she gets one free drink every shift so she's gonna go ahead and snag that we do need to text kyle to make sure that everything is working out back at home this kind of feels weird that i'm that i'm texting him i actually don't even know if he'd be up right now i would hope not hopefully jacob's sleeping like her mommy brain is going a mile a freaking minute she doesn't trust very many people with jacob but for some reason she trusts kyle so even though he didn't respond because obviously 
obviously it is now four o'clock in the morning and he's sleeping. She's very anxious to get home, but she's not overly worried. And it looks like our paycheck for the night was 206 million. So not too shabby, not too shabby. And she's falling asleep on the freaking toilet. It's also super cold in the Salty Paws Saloon. So Ayla's looking forward to getting back home and getting warm underneath her blanket. Never a freaking again will Ayla moonlight on a day that she has to work at the Frothy Foamer. She had one hour, one hour to close her freaking eyelids. I swear I didn't even plan that right, but we earned another hundred simoleons, so that's exciting. I know in the early access videos, we chatted a little bit about maybe having Ayla join a different type of career, at least something that would pay a little bit better than the Frothy Foamer. But here's the thing, Ayla dreams of becoming a famous author, so hence why, you know, she likes to read and, you know, write books and things of that nature, but I've also strongly considered her maybe enrolling in university, but the thing is, is university is expensive. I don't even think there's any, like, online classes or anything that she could do so she isn't away from Jacob. That's, like, what this whole thing is about. She doesn't want to be away from Jacob, so I don't know. We'll have to figure something out. If you guys have a solution or an idea on how we can help Bayla out, just let me in the comments down below because I'm a little, I'm a little confused. So I want to see how many, let's see, see satisfaction points we have because Ayla's feeling kind of kind of tired right now uh, I want to give her the energized potion so that she has a little a little pick-me-up because we're not gonna be able to go to sleep right now we actually have a bunch of uh, harvestables in our inventory and like some oh wait there it is I was wondering where the hell that was <laughs> I just realized I had purchased wait hold on is Jacob on the floor <laughs> God, wait, what? Why? Where, why is his mat over here, but he's on the floor? That is so freaking weird. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, um, I realized I had two baby mats, so we sold that for 80 simoleons, and he just farted a music note, and then whiffed it, wafted it, whatever. Let's kiss him. Let's love on him. We're going to do some tummy time. We are going to spend some time with this boy. We need to give him a bath, do all the things. Actually, just kidding. I remember we had this issue in the early access videos where we had to rearrange the bathroom. So I might have to do that for now, at least until Jacob gets a little bit older and then we'll be able to put it back. So I'm just going to kind of move everything and shuffle it to the side. I think this should be fine. But in the event it's not, I'm going to raise it up a little bit higher and uh, I think we should be good to go. Okay, cool. So another thing that I wanted to check out too was the social bunny app. I really want to start playing with this a little bit more and I recently downloaded a mod that makes it even more immersive, a little more fun to play with and not so damn repetitive and predictable. If you guys want to check out that mod, I will go ahead and, uh, well, I think I'm going to post it tomorrow actually. So it's me, it might not even be up yet, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to create a new post. So let's just make a random post and we're going to do a happy narrative. And it says today was a great day or today was great. Awesome. I love that. We also need to add some friends to the contact list. So we're going to add Kyle. We're going to add Perry. I really do want to add Jonathan <laughs> and slip into his DMs. <laughs> But I'm not going to be a creep and we're going to add Tina and also a part of me kind of wants to add Eric But do I really want to know what he's doing on his free time? No, not necessarily And why are we going outside ma'am? Like seriously, what are we doing? Okay, tell me time out here That's fine. I actually don't have a lot of room in the house So it kind of makes sense why Ayla prefers outside Also, Santa Coya, the weather, it's beautiful. It's not too hot. It's not too cold I didn't even think of doing this, but I actually need to check up on Jacob's traits and also his milestones so he's still a cautious, a cautious little boy, loves wake up time, which is great, good appetite, and feeding Tinkler. So I think all of the traits that, or treat, yeah, all the traits he was in the early access videos, he still has even now. And for milestones, we've actually accomplished a few. So he had his first visitor, um, he was born, he learned to laugh and coo and smile, and we just obviously unlocked another milestone because we gave him a bath. So we're not doing too bad. Oh, and another thing, I have the lifespan on long because I really want to enjoy our time with baby Jacob because this little bean is the cutest thing I've ever freaking seen. And look at his little, look at his little bear paws. <laughs> He's so cute. We actually need to pick him up a toy. I don't think I have one. What is Ela doing? Is she, she's asleep. Why would you go to sleep? I had you drink the potion. That should have absolutely helped. I think, right? Maybe it didn't work. You know, I get it. Parenting's hard. You need a cat nap. Actually, speaking of which, uh, 
Uh, it's 11.08 and Kyle is still sleeping. <laughs> like, what are you doing, sir? He wants to watch TV and he wants to leave a drawing for somebody. I have no idea what his panel is doing. Do you guys see that? It's like jittery. I don't know. I'm going to reset him really quick. Hopefully that will get rid of it. And then I'm going to let him grab something. He might actually grab what Ela made or he might end up grabbing something else. Can he even get out of the basement? That's what I'm curious to know because, oh, wait, he's stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Oh my god. All right, let's try this one more time. Sorry, Kyle. We're gonna have him go and get those leftovers. Hopefully it works. I don't know if I need to purchase like a vacuum because I do have bust the dust in and uh, I can see the house getting a little bit dirty. But let me come back over here and I'm gonna play with Jacob. We're gonna do um we're gonna blow some raspberries. I need to pick up that toy really quick. Hey Kyle, <laughs> good morning, Ayla. It's the afternoon, Kyle. Oh, <laughs> whatever, dude. I'm just playing. He's actually he doesn't talk like that. Well, I mean maybe he does. I don't really know. I'm not Kyle, but uh, let me grab one of these koalas. We'll snag that. And I'm going to try to give this to Jacob. OK, that's right. You can't actually give them the toy if they're on the play mat. They need to be on this little infant mat, which is weird. I know, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And there he is playing with his little koala toy. I love it. Oh, my God. <laughs> he makes me so freaking happy. How is Ayla feeling? She's feeling pretty playful right now, which is awesome. I think I need to have her go maybe paint a little. Maybe, possibly. We're going to do a little figure painting. And I don't know why Kyle is just standing here staring at the desk. Let me go back over here and look at my Jacob because, oh my God, he's just so freaking adorable. I love his little like smile and the way he's studying this toy. I will say they've nailed these animations. And we just unlocked the grab milestone with all of his might. Jacob managed to pick up and grab onto something for the first time. Continue to play with toys to strengthen the fine motor development. At least it doesn't take a lot of time, I've noticed, to gain some momentum with infants because I feel like with toddlers, it was so hard to build their skills. It would take absolutely freaking forever. Who does Kyle know? So he only knows Jacob and he only knows Ayla. Okay, well, maybe I'll have him come over here and spend a little bit of time with Jacob. We're going to have him talk to him. Actually, I think Jacob might need a nap. So I do have a mod in that like slows things down a little bit in terms of the infant needs because those kind of go fast. But I'm not entirely sure that it's actually working. So I was going to have uh, Kyle put Jacob to bed, but it looks like little Jacob's actually hungry. So I'm going to have Ayla come over and feed him instead. I think I'm gonna have Kyle go do something because I feel like he's just kind of just chilling and not really doing much with his life. We're gonna go have him jog around the block, I guess, so he can get out of the house a little bit. He's feeling pretty, uh, pretty cooped up right now. We just finished our little painting, and I think I might actually have Kyle take a picture of himself. I don't know, maybe he's so cute though. I will admit, I feel like we're not like spending a lot of time with him because he doesn't really know like his path either. But if you guys have any ideas for Kyle, well, you know, you can always drop them down below. He's a cool dude though, I really do enjoy having him around. So he just gained the fitness skill for the first time or the first level of the fitness skill. What if he became like a bodybuilder or something? I could see that. Hold on. Did I just see a squirrel run up a tree? Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen a squirrel in the Sims 4. That's actually pretty freaking cool. I'm pretty positive that's what it was. Otherwise, it could just be a really big oversized freaking rat. But uh, Ayla is reading a book right now. Jacob is screaming in the bassinet. We're going to soothe him to sleep. I didn't even freaking notice. Poor baby. Hopefully that works. There he goes. He's stretching. And uh, oh, looks like he uh, passed out. OK, wow. I also noticed the energy bar for parents like dwindles like never before. It's actually crazy how quickly that depreciates. Very realistic. So I'm going to let Ela take a little mid afternoon nap. Kyle just came back home. He's going to go and take a quick little shower. Now that we don't have the toilet here. Actually, no, wait, it was just a matter of not being able to afford it. I'm like, maybe I need to get like the shower tub combo because I feel like taking a bath just takes forever. All right, Miss Ayla, it's time to wake up because I need you to come over here and check out some university options. Another mistake we might be making today, but it never hurts. It never hurts to apply for some scholarships. So I'm going to have her apply and then we could, I think, think. Hold on. What does it say? We can apply to universities for 75 simoleons. Yeah, we're not ready to apply. I just want to see if we would actually get a scholarship. Do you need to apply first before a scholarship? Mm, I'm not sure. So we can apply for two different scholarships. It says building the future. Sims who are skilled at handiness or rocket science may be eligible for the scholarship. Education for all. Sims with really low household funds will be eligible to apply for the scholarship. I think we qualify for this. So hopefully, hopefully we get it. Kyle, 
tile is really, really soaking up the sides. And <gasps> no, <laughs> oh my god, ew, 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 ew. We just saw Kyle's Kyle sit. He is so embarrassed. He walked outside. He was like, whew, honey, a little fresh air. It was getting steamy in there. But no, seriously, that was quite embarrassing. I'm going to have him come sit on the couch. He doesn't want to watch TV. He's welcome to hang out up here. Like, I don't know why he just like stays in his bedroom all the time, but it's totally fine. I was thinking of maybe having Ayla invite her dad out for a little bit of dinner. It's been a really long time since we've seen him, but I think we're going to keep it low key and we're going to make some meatball tamale bites. Hey, Ayla, I've been thinking about getting a new job. What do you think? Uh, uh, I don't think you should do it. You have established yourself. You love what you do and you're also really good at it, dad. I know you might be getting a little burned out, but I feel, I feel like this is your calling. Really? I guess I should stay in my lane after all. See, I didn't, I didn't, say all that dad I just said you were good at what you do I mean why try to fix it if it isn't broken and now Ayla is feeling super duper inspired which is awesome Kyle is on his phone I don't even think he has a social bunny maybe he does I'm gonna send Ayla a message we're gonna send her a funny message maybe it's like a meme or something and then Kyle goes the person who invented autocorrect died today restaurant in peace oh god Kyle that actually kind of hurt to read a little bit anyway the poor dude needs to go to the bathroom perfect timing because he is feeling a little a little embarrassed right now on top of everything else but anyways I love how whenever I'm about to tell you something bad or sad <laughs> I'm like anyways trying to change the subject lighten the mood I'm actually gonna go and wrap up this episode here I know it was kind of short we really didn't do a lot think of it more of like a pilot or an introduction um, to the new series more than anything else if you guys are cool with shorter episodes here and there I definitely feel like I would be able to post more especially because my life is a little chaotic right now like me and Ayla we are twinning <laughs> we are both raising infants and so if I'm able to create shorter episodes I could create them a little more frequently and I'm not talking like 10 minutes I'm talking to like you know 20 minutes or so you know anyways you guys I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here I hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below all where the sun does not shine and I will see you all next time. Hmm, maybe Ayla could get used to this. Wearing dresses, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty-handed.